Hey, what's happening guys? Uh, you remember about a week or so ago, we got this charger and some of these nice batteries from Galicia to play with. And I said in the video that if there was any interest in testing the capacity on these batteries, that we would do a video on that. And definitely interest, so thank you for showing interest. I appreciate that. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start with the, uh, the most powerful one they have which is the, uh, well, it's not the most powerful one they have. It's the most powerful one they sent me. Oh, it's not powerful, I'm sorry. The largest capacity one they sent me. And the older I get, the harder I find it to form coherent sentences, which is the 3,000 milliamp hour battery. It is uh, rated at 25 amp continuous draw, max 35 amp. Now I've got it fully charged here you can see it is at 4.2 volts so we'll get that bad boy out of there now I have here the 100 watt electronic load capacity checker whatever you want to call it from Banggood and it's going to do the job for us it's not as accurate as I would like let's just say it's not lab quality but it'll do the job for us I don't care how it figures out the watts and I really don't care what it does with the milliamp hours I just wanted to discharge this battery to a safe level so I have set it for 3.3 volts yes I know the the stated says it can go down to three volts but I really don't like to pull these lithium batteries down that low so we're going to take it down to 3.3 volts we are going to charge it at one or discharge it at 1c which is 4.2 volts 4.2 amps geez maybe i ought to just start this whole thing over <laughs> so i have this all set up here but i don't have an 18650 holder so we're going to have to kind of improvise a little bit and for that we are going to use the universal engineering toolkit that all men are equipped with i.e. a roll of duct tape because you just can't go wrong with a nice roll of duct tape right all right you probably like to see that so we'll get it in view get our negative end down here like so and our positive end up here like so and we will secure them in place with some duct tape now while I'm setting this up let's talk for a minute Way back at the beginning of summer, we set up a uh, giveaway for a multimeter, the Anang 8008, probably one of the best value multimeters out there. And then on uh, Labor Day, we drew the winner. I gave him multiple chances to contact me. He did not. So about a week ago, I did another drawing, and I haven't heard back from that guy either so either nobody wants an Anang 8008 or people don't actually watch this either way this is going to be the last chance for that um, after watching this video the first person that emails me and I'm going to go by uh, the time in the email the first person that emails me saying something along the lines of please send me the meter will be the winner that's that and if nobody uh, wants it then nobody gets it and it's that simple okay as you can see I had to rejigger my jig to get a positive connection but now we're ready set and go we're going to discharge it down to the, uh, what did I put, 3.3 uh, volt discharge voltage. When it's completely discharged, I will recharge it 
and we'll check how many milliamp hours went in there and we should have our capacity and there we go see you when it's uh, completely discharged okay just a little update 30 minutes in and for some reason the rubber band has decided to pop off we take a look here the battery is down to 3.57 volts and it's discharging at 4.254 amps temperature of well, 13.86 watts and there was a temperature here a second ago I don't know what that clock's timing it's not right 41 degrees C so that's where we're at after 30 minutes five minutes later and the cycle is complete so we will disconnect our battery which is ooh, quite warm let's put a thermocouple on it okay let's see what we got here it's definitely warm but at uh, 35 minutes at four and a quarter amps has to be expected so we'll call it about 47 degrees C now I was always told never to charge a hot battery so I'm gonna let this guy cool off for a few minutes before we put it on the charge all right our battery is back at room temperature and let's pop it in and see what we get oh I don't like that don't like that one bit let's put a meter on there and uh, see what it has to say yeah if that electronic load took that battery down that low that is definitely not good yeah shit we may have killed it I'm gonna put it on a slower charge go with one amp see what we get yeah yeah, really disappointed in that electronic load, man. Okay. So it is now um, 9 p.m. And we are fully charged. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And focus. There we go. Whoops. So she took 34.24. I'd call that full and I'd say uh, they're right on with their specs there no problem at all three uh, hours and 20 minutes to totally charge so I'm gonna give these Golisi batteries big old thumbs up I like them and I can uh, I can recommend them I'll see if they're available on Amazon if they are I will add them to my website or to my store and that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to my patrons. Big thanks to Golisi for sending these out. That's it. I'm out. Peace.